Hi everyone, it's Rachel Smith and Callie Smith and, and Nora Smith. And today we're gonna walk you through our cute little kind of duplex, kind of um, kind of a duplex uh, over by the village of Big Bear Lake at 586 Night. Okay, so here we are at 586 Night Avenue. Um, this is kind of in its own little complex over here. No HOA or anything. This one just recently sold for $345. Pretty similar as far as layout, but more square footage over here and completely remodeled here as opposed to next door. So a uh, great little value right around the corner from the village of Big Bear Lake. And what we're looking at today is a one bedroom one bath attached to a studio and a bathroom. So you've got two different um, opportunities for income property. So here we have some parking on this side in front of the unit. If you needed that extra park it, the pri or parking, the prior tenant would park out here, but there's also plenty and plenty of parking in the rear as well. So here we are looking at it from the outside, lots of mature, big old pine trees. We're about a half mile to the village. And we've got, this is kind of cool. Callie, what do you think about the roof? It's a metal roof. And so what's really nice about this is that when it rains, it sounds really, really cool. Ooh, what'd you find there? Feather pen. Hmm, feather pen? The log has been touched up recently. Nice handrail going into, they're kind of covered right here at the entryway for the first unit. And we do have a little storage area right here. So there you could keep, you know, bikes. Maybe bikes would be a different area, but skis, snowboards, things like that. Extra supplies. Fight, guys. Mom, I want the key. Can she have the key, please? But she's gonna lock the door. No, she's not. Okay. So, first, we're entering into the. What's this called? Living room. The living room. Good job. The palace. And what we've got here is we've got this wainscoting all the way around which is nice, it kind of brightens it up. And then we've got white finishes all the way from like the waist lined up. And a naughty pine ceiling. Yeah, it's like a little wraparound shelf. It's kind of fun and it's a butcher block pattern. And this is gonna be our heating system right here, wall heater. And then this is cool, you could put bar stools here and use that to eat at your counter. You could also do like a little tabletop right here if you wanted to. What's a tabletop? Like a, a tall table. Hey guys, do you wanna learn something real quick? Watch yeah. this. Watch out. Okay. You know what that's called? No. It's called a slow close. It will not allow you to slam it. So you can't get mad in the house and slam things, no matter how hard you try. Okay. All right, so let's go this way. Into the oven. We've got the fridge. It's brand new. Lots of countertop space in here too. New cabinets. Oh no. Your all's job was the lights. Here we have our bedroom. We could easily fit a king size bed, definitely a queen, twin, no problem. Probably two twins if you really wanted to. Um, these are dual pane windows, so they are upgraded windows. And we do, oh, no, 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 no. Can do that. That, you will electrocute yourself. Don't do that. And here we go into, we got a closet. Feels really good in here because Big Bear is in a heat wave right now too. So the fact that it's not 
burning, burning up right now in here. Um, it's really well insulated. Why is everything so new? Because they remodeled the home. Okay, and then here we have the girls. We're supposed to turn on all the lights. And somebody must have forgot. So here we have our fully remodeled full bathroom. So we have the walk-in shower right here. It is complete with these cool shelvings for shampoos, bottles, things like that. Just like this, Kelly. A little towel hook. And the floors are really nice, like a uh, high-grade laminate flooring too. Is this open? What would you put here? What does this look like goes here? In that shower. space. But the shower is right there. Yeah. You think that was set up for a bathtub? Or anytime you see this, look. You don't know what this is for? A hose. No, not a hose, but um, close. Do we have it at our house? Mm-hmm. A mirror. Mm -mm. Don't tell me. That's water and gas. And Sink. electricity. Sink. Mm -mm. You got one right there. Um, a table? Nope. Do you need water for a table? Why would there be a table in the bathroom? Well, I don't know. That would be silly. I think it's for something when you've, like, let's just say you go and you get dirty for the day. What do you do with your clothes? Wash them. Wash them. So what is this for? Washing. Laundry. Laundry. No, washing. Well, wash. laundry. Okay, now let's go check out. Oh, let's, um, let's go this way. So here we have the outside. I walked We've got like a little, little area out here, a little entryway that you could also use for storage or, or you, could use the storage. you could use this little back area for storage too. Or you could use the storage. Very private. Or you could use the storage. This is probably where I would put my bikes. And here we have our hot water heater. Open it. Nope. Gas meters. And you can sit on them. But a good size storage area right here. And we can walk around the back of the unit. And here's where our parking is. So the front, the front unit can park in the front, like I mentioned, but then the back unit could park right here. Or, I mean, you could get three, four cars right here. The other thing, too, is that you could, if you wanted to, um, have both units parked back here. So let's go into this back unit real quick. This is unit number two. I think my help quit. So we've got the same flooring in here. Same remodel job in here as well. And this one set up more like a studio in here. So bed would go right here. You could easily put a table over here. Um, and then you've got your closet space. It is one off of a forced air heat, or sorry, wall heater. And then again, we have that same butcher's block in here. New cabinets, got kind of that craftsman look to it. Um, we have the new appliances. And then we've got some granite or quartz, quartz, I think that's quartz countertop. And just like a little apartment size fridge. And then you step up into another bathroom back here. We've got a full shower in here. Everything that you really kind of need. I think the prior, one of the prior units was about like 15 and 1800 on these units. Um, could likely get more just because they have been fully remodeled and pretty much loved on. So there you have it for 365. This one has just hit the market right around the corner from the ski slopes, probably about a mile away. 
also about a half mile away from the village. Nora, how much do you think this house cost? 59. $365,000. No, 365. Can you? Dollars. Okay. Call us if you want to see it. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.